water in Paris. When you're traveling about in Paris, you need to stay hydrated. And so I just wanted to let you know that there are tons of public water fountains throughout Paris. You just have to know what to look for. So there are the traditional kind, like this. Although my wife thought it looked like a toilet, but it is a water fountain, sort of modern looking. Um, so you'll find those. You'll find really modern looking things. That sort of looks like a Dalek from Doctor Who. Uh, there's a modern sculpture that actually is a drinking fountain. Uh, there's one where you can fill up your bottles really easily. You can see the spigots on both sides. Actually, it looks like there's one st facing straight towards you as well. So plenty of room for plenty of people to get water. Here's one with a, another modern art fountain. The water comes out of that guy's hand on the left. You can see the button on his chest that you push to get the water. And I just think that's a cute water fountain. How can you go wrong with a cute water fountain? This is not a water fountain. I just put it in because I thought it was cool. It's a decorative fountain. So inside that tube is water, like spraying water. And so it's just pretty cool. And if you look, as it goes off into the distance there, you can see it ends up at a building. And that's what it looks like at the building, which is pretty cool. And at night it lights up, so pretty cool. Um, these ones are more historically interesting fountains. These are called Wallace fountains. And they were put in by a man named Wallace when he wanted to encourage people to drink less alcohol. So he put in lots of these fountains all over Paris to try to get people to drink more water. So you'll find these ones mostly in parks or on street corners, depending on what part of the city you're in. There's an, uh, And then there's these fancier ones that I think my wife and I walked past before and didn't even realize it was a water fountain. We just thought it was a sculpture. But... Look at it. it. It looks like a sculpture, but if you put your water bottle between the women, there's water pouring down. And you can, or there might be a button or a sensor of some sort, but I assume there's a button that you push and then the water comes out. So these are all over Paris. There's like 70 of them still in existence. So keep an eye out for them. Some of them have been painted to look more modern. This is a, an even older model of the same thing. There's only two of these left. And there's only one of this type left. It's wall fountain. Um, it's found in one of the big parks in Paris. And then there's the Fontaine Petilante. I think it was the mayor of Paris who, or the head of, it was the head of the Paris Water Board. Uh, he did a survey of the Parisians and they, they, in the survey, they indicated they would drink much more tap water if it were carbonated. So in an effort to keep the city's inhabitants hydrated, the authorities brought sparkling water to the streets for free. So here is a sparkling water fountain. And another one. You can see they look quite modern compared to the other ones. Here's a man filling up his Coke bottle with sparkling water. That's a pretty fancy one in one of the bigger parks. Four different filling stations. Some of these filling stations are petilante or sparkling water. Um, uh, other fountains here are probably still water or non-sparkling water. Um, I am not personally a fan of sparkling water. My wife is. Some of you might be a fan of sparkling water. Um, I prefer it to be flavored, but this is just plain, straightforward sparkling water. So if you like sparkling water or just chilled, cool water, find yourself one of these stations. There is, one of the, there is a sparkling water fountain in every single arrondissement.